So at the end of a previous video, I showed you this uh, this piece of 80 CRV2 that I was going to try and make um, into a knife. I think the thickness is uh, is probably where it wants to be, so I don't want to forge it too much. Um, but what I will do, rather than uh, rather than cutting the material away here, is to forge the blade out, extend the tip, and uh, and get some extra length in here, and hopefully end up with a blade around 10 inches long. Um, don't want to do much with the profile here. The tang here is probably a couple of inches. I need to forge that out, bring this in and out, and uh, and give us something to work with. So that's what I'm going to start on today. So I'm going to throw this in the forge now, get it warmed up and uh, and probably start on this uh, on this tip.
here's the blade we were just forging. It's cooled down sufficiently. So I can handle it with gloves. Um, I didn't get as much cliff in it as I would have liked to. Um, most of the, the forging seemed to uh, just put the curve into this rather than going into the clip here. Um, I tried using the cross peen hammer to get a little bit more out of it, but um, I think that's probably as uh, as good as I'm going to get at this stage. The good news is uh, this piece started out at 11.6 inches. Right now we're just over 13, so we got about an inch and a half of growth in the end of this blade. The uh, thickness is pretty consistent if anything there's still a little bit too much thickness in the end here um, but we'll probably grind that now the other thing to note is um, if you were watching the uh, the tip when I was forging I ended up with two tips it's a double tip and there's a small inclusion here now where those came together I was hoping um, you know if I'd have upset it a little more on the end I would have pushed that back in but what I actually happened was it ended up folding so I'm probably going to lose um, maybe up to a quarter of an inch there um, on the end which I'm not too worried about maybe I'll maybe I'll forge the bevel in a little bit before I um, before I grind and, and, and that will give us a little bit more length so the next task um, for the next video will be to take the last couple of inches of this blade so maybe 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 two and a half inches here and try and forge out a tang that's sufficient to to carry the handle and the weight of this blade so subscribe to the channel and tune in next time and hopefully you'll see the tang being drawn on this I don't think this is going to be a quick project so uh, bear with me.